Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Elite Dangerous live stream. This is an Xbox special of the Danger Zone. We won't just be playing CQC, though. We are going to be taking you through some of the new things that are coming to the Xbox One, uh, which is all very exciting stuff that we announced recently on the community site. So if you haven't caught up with those already, go to community.elitedangerous.com, and I think in news you can find uh, all of the Xbox updates. But hopefully you guys are here because you already know about that kind of thing. It's lovely to see you. Hello. Hi. Hey. And let me introduce, of course, my wonderful guest here with me, probably best known for his meeting with <laughs> Craig Charles Craig in Charles. 2004. Was it 2004? Um, that was earlier than that. It was, it was earlier a, than a that. Pizza restaurant in Norwich. Was it? Um, oh, is that right? Yeah. What? Which one? Uh, I don't think it exists anymore. But it's okay. called Pizza One Pancake Two. Pizza One Pancake Two with yeah. Craig Charles. Were you with Craig Charles? No, I was not with you him. Just I saw just, him. We just happened to be there yeah. and. Yeah, we were young and had had a fair amount to drink. <laughs> so you went over to say so hello. We went over bravely. Well, more on that amazing, <laughs> amazing story later on. Um, but yes, here's Gary Richards. Gary Richards, a senior producer on Elite Dangerous and yep. sort of sort of the lead platform developer for Xbox One, right? Yeah, I kind of cover the the Xbox yeah. side of the stuff. So we make sure that the game that the PC guys are, are working on all yeah. transfers nicely into the Xbox. And we add all the other bits and pieces like achievements and yeah. rich presents. And, and talking of making sure things are, you know, <coughs> are, are, are able to yes. do, um, you have some information that you are going to be sort of talking us through, some of the stuff we're going to be showing off, we've got a video, or we are actually working with a bit of a live uh, debug build as well on the Xbox One, so we are going to be flicking over to that at some point. Uh, you might see that it, uh, it might, it, you know, yeah. it might work, it might not work, yes. but we, we have got backup video as well to show. Uh, we will be playing some CQC with you all as well later on, so you will have a chance to kill uh, Gary, uh, we'll be <laughs> playing some death matches in there on CQC, so that's a lot of fun. Uh, and then we'll be answering some questions from the chat, but also, Gary, you've got a piece of paper there, if you want to hold it up to the camera. I do. Uh, do I want to hold it up? There we go, bit of paper. Ooh, there we that are. way, yeah. yeah <laughs> With some questions it's all from, everybody around, isn't it? from the forums. So there are some questions. Gary, what do you want to do first? Um, so we should probably go with. Um, we can do paint jobs if you like. <laughs> yeah, that's just so. Uh, like as Ed said, we've got we've got a number of things that we're bringing to the Xbox, which is it that controller. Uh, it's that controller, which it's have been in the PC over, build yeah. for a while. Um, mm. And they're slated for 1.6. Mm -hmm. We've got paint jobs, private groups, and languages, and I've forgotten the fourth one. Uh, paint jobs, uh, private groups, and customizable controls, and customizable controls, customizable controls, which we yeah. initially thought we couldn't do. And whenever anybody on the forums asked why can't we have customizable controls, mm -hmm. we've always said mm, it's a bit tricky on the Xbox because of okay. the way all the menus and everything work, but the coder in charge of doing that section of the mm -hmm. game must have gone away and had a rather good weekend at what, some point. And just uh, came recently, back and did it. came back on Monday <laughs> and went, I've had an idea. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, so why was, it, why was it difficult to implement something like that? So because with the PC, you've got so many different control methods, it's yeah. a lot easier to just remap various yeah. bits and pieces. Whereas on the Xbox, there are various things where you're not allowed to Play, you've got to make it intuitive enough so that players don't get themselves tied up. Mm. So you don't, you can't remap various buttons on mm -hmm. the Xbox because they have specific functions within the OS, which is all very interesting. Yeah, well, so we've managed to. So there's some guys have managed to find a way. So I've got a couple of things um, as well that I do have to say before we carry on. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, uh, we it. have <coughs> also we're going to be giving away some paint jobs to celebrate the fact that we've got paint jobs coming to Elite Dangerous we do, uh, on yes. Xbox One. We have got three paint jobs of your own choice that we're going to be giving away for when those paint jobs, when the actual functionality goes in. Uh, also want to clear up, uh, it's not a rash, it's a birthmark. So, oh, really? Does somebody put yeah, Mr. Dr. Oh, Bro yeah. Brohoof, he obviously isn't, <coughs> he obviously isn't a real doctor. Although Dr. Brohoof, I would never Maybe. go to a, a doctor mm, called Dr. Brohoof. No, I don't think so either. Maybe he's a doctor of um, cows. Anyway, so let's do some, um, I mean, what do you want to say? Is it on this one? Is it's it on, on controller? this one. Is, that, um, is the screen, screen okay for me to turn over to now? Uh, it is, yes. So, okay. usual caveats. This is a debug build. Mm. So it runs slightly slower 
than a normal retail build would but ultimately this is what, what people will end up seeing yeah. so we're going to do some paint jobs and some virtual currency and explain how that all works so from the menus this is the traditional front end menu that you're all used to but you'll have noticed that there's a new option which is buy game extras nice so from here there are quick links into the xbox store and the frontier store so, sorry, can I just quickly check um, lower the game sound? Would you be able to go and lower the game sound for me? Just really, really quickly, because it's quite loud for, for people. Um, oh, no. Uh, one second. Uh, is there not an in the options? Options, audio. I think it's just that, that's what they're concerned with. Oh, uh, uh, we'll, we'll just mute there it for now. Yeah, there we go. Right now, I understand what you mean. <laughs> Sorry, I was being a bit rabbit in the you headlights. Th you there. thought I was. <laughs> I was thinking, but it's you HDMI. We have no control over that. <laughs> right. I went too so, technical. Buy game extras. There you buy go. Buy game extras. So, um, so the idea with the paint jobs is that we've wired them into our store. Mm. So, the the store that you'll see will be virtually the same as it is on the mm -hmm. PC. The advantage of doing that means when we release stuff on the PC, we can instantly release stuff on the Xbox at the same time, and everything stays in sync. The, the, in order to buy it, because of the way that uh, Microsoft work, um, you have to buy virtual currency Yes. from the Xbox store. So you'll go to the Xbox store and- Oh, look at the look shiny, at those. shiny logos. And yeah, so I think it was. I think we mentioned this in the uh, in the update on the on the community site. But it's not a way that we're doing this across the board. With like, it's not. It's not meant to be. It's literally because it was the only way that we could do it effectively and make sure that people could get parity across both stores, for yeah. PC and Xbox One. It's not like us trying to set off a new uh, microtransaction currency no. or anything like that. No. I think that's really really important that we we're not doing that. No. So this is purely to buy paint jobs and bobbleheads. Mm -hmm. um, there is no in-game. Value of these, their only mm. value, their only value is in the is in our yeah. in the Xbox version of our store. So okay. there are various denominations. Mm -hmm. um, anybody that's purchased DLC from various other games, it's a common practice to use this kind of thing. A lot of mm -hmm. developers are now using yeah. virtual currency to buy in-game items. Okay. So you would just buy one of these as a, a normal piece of DLC. I'm not going to go through it because this is a debug. Uh, this is a debug area that we're in. So once you've purchased your frontier points, mm -hmm. as we're calling them, you can then go into the game store from there, or more excitingly, excitingly for us, because it was playing difficult. It's playing hard to get this afternoon. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the game, and we can launch the, show, show we can launch the store. I saw you buying the Irish flag earlier. Is that because you're Irish? Uh, no, it's because it was the first one that appears on the store. <laughs> and I was a little bit pushed right, for okay. time. Actually, yeah. I think it might be the second one. Yeah, Artie Sue asks Frontier Points, what is that? Um, just wanted to, I, I think, yeah, we just explained it now, earlier, hopefully. Yeah, so. Hopefully you heard it caught up with it. Yeah, so. From if, scratch, what, what, is, what are Frontier Points? So, Frontier Points are virtual currency that we use yeah. within the Frontier store. So, as an example, if you wanted to buy. So a thousand points will cost you nine ninety nine. Right, okay. And when you get into the store, a thousand points will buy you the equivalent so of they'll be the same prices as how yeah. so the, the <coughs> price is the same, so nobody's losing out or, no. or gaining. Or or maybe like by one P they're actually gaining. Um, <laughs> possibly yes. <laughs> yeah. And hey, look at that Xbox. Look one, at this. It? So here we can see that um, I've already Put some bobbleheads. Uh, I've already purchased the bobblehead number uh, letter pack okay. from the store, and I've put them in just so that everybody can see that we're not cheating. <laughs> it is on an Xbox. Oh, we didn't get to see the. Um, you'll have to show that later on. The the new embossed Elite Dangerous logo when you start the game up. Yes. We'll do that in a moment. Do so you do carry on doing this first. It looks very very nice for the Xbox. Um, so yes. Yeah, so the idea is that something that's in the store that costs five hundred. Five pounds will be five hundred points, okay. and with the way that the packs work, the higher the pack you buy, the mm -hmm. better value they are. Okay. So a thousand points is cheaper than two five hundreds, right? And twenty five 
hundred points is cheaper than two one thousands and a five hundred. Okay, so okay, I see. So you so get the, a discount. So there are, right, okay, but it's not going to be that. But it's pretty much like I say, it's parity. Like the, the prices are still remain the same yes. on the store. Yeah, yeah, and everything's okay, still still the same on the okay, store. Okay, right, fair enough, that makes sense. So again, this is a traditional layout that. Commander, oh, a catchy named Commander yes. 2 Dev 3330361. Yep. Yeah, so okay. that's that's mine. That's what they call me at the weekend. <coughs> so we go into outfitting. Again, <laughs> it's a catchy name at the week. Catchy weekend name. <laughs> yeah. Um, and usual menus here, and yeah. then here we have um, the new livery. So this is in the current build, but there aren't anything that you can apply. And so then we've got all our dashboard slots. Lovely stuff. So we can put whichever you know. Pe those there. who have seen uh, PC stuff will have seen it on there as well. Yeah. So if we wanted to change that to, say, we wanted to change that to mm -hmm. Xbox, we didn't fancy Xbox. For comic effect, when I was testing this, I did come back to my desk once and find that somebody had changed it to be Xbob. Xbob. I like that. Xbob. Let's do it. Xbob. X so um, there are lots of people asking uh, questions in the chat, and we will get round to it. Like, when will this all go live and stuff like that? Unfortunately, we don't have an exact date for you right now. Um, but uh, as you said, it's, it's a 1.6 update, right? Yes. Uh, so there's no exact date out there at all about that just yet. Um, <coughs> but there is also, as well, some people asking questions about as you can see, is Horizons coming to Xbox One, Jack Harpo 4? I mean, you've said previously, haven't you, of course? And again, we have no uh, announcements today for you, but you've said in the past you're currently yeah, working on it. We are currently working on it. I've Okay. Yes. The, and well, one of the problems we've had today with the builds is making it so that they just look like season one. Yeah. But there was a scary moment where we booted something up and... Yeah, the, the logo screens were the wrong logo screens. Great, that's good. Uh, so if that sort of thing needs to so, be yeah, <laughs> so tidied up to make sure like it doesn't I say, happen. Like I say, we are, uh, yeah. you know, we are actually Currently, working and, on and this let stuff. And let me bring it to the, to the screen for one second here. Look, look into my <laughs> eyes here. We have an announcement coming very soon for you guys. A very exciting Elite Dangerous on Xbox One announcement. And I will let you speculate on what that might be, but it's coming very soon for you, I promise. There you go. Just wanted to, just wanted to, I'm not sure I'm allowed to say that, but that's, that's, it's coming soon, I promise. It's too late. Right, okay. There are loads uh, of things you could say here. There's loads of things you could say. So show off one of the things. So, so that was me changing an existing item. If we wanted to buy something, the buy game extras link, which up until now, didn't do anything. It just went to a page. Oh. So again, okay. this is because we're on oh, a right. de this so is because we're on a dev kit. Mm -hmm. So we have to do a few little bits and pieces. Ignore this. Should we, should we flick away just in case? Or no, no, no. It's, it's all fine. Okay. It's just and then this anybody this. that's been to the ex to the. So this is directly from in game. Yes. So this is from oh. in game. You just click that extra link, and rather than saying a little pop up box that currently mm -hmm. goes, this is unavailable. It now goes to an Xbox version of our store, okay. which our store team have very kindly given me a million frontier points so that I can <laughs> go away and buy lots of different things. But generally, the thing at the top, the little hexagon, that indicates how many points that you've got. Yep. Within here, you can also see that, as you, as you said earlier, you saw me buying the um, Irish flag, and it shows you items that you've owned. And as we scroll down, you can see all the various bits and pieces that are available to purchase currently. Yeah. So the Xbox content has, when we launch this, it will have everything that is currently available for sale. Are they like on uh, uh, the okay, PC? Anything. So is this? I'm going to say this because it's, yeah, it's probably not. It's going to be difficult to do, but are there search functions so you can search for certain yeah, types and so on. So if we scroll, uh, oh, I'm, I said it, then I was like, oh, I'm going to say this, and then you, it's not. You there. thought you were throwing me on the I bus. I did, and I'm sorry. So okay, you can get, see, it. and also bobbleheads are on there as well. Which yeah, is so cool. bobbleheads. So up here, oh, there's like a filter thing. If I can hit it, there you go. with the incredibly accurate uh, and then, Xbox. So I always fly, as people on the forums will know, I always fly a Cobra Mark III. Okay. And so there we are. We can awesome. go. Okay, so which. Cobra Mark Three paint job? Do we fancy? Uh, I don't know, guys. Which Cobra Mark Three paint job do you, you fancy? I quite like that one. That one's quite or nice. Going for, he's going for that one. Or 
There's, there's something about a stripe, isn't there? There's something that would go fast to stripe. Something about a stripe. So we pick that, and then you can either buy it now or you can add it to your cart. So let's add that to the cart. Let's a wonderful, a wonderful demo here by. And then. Okay, Richards. Thank you very much. And then once you're happy with everything that you've purchased. Do you have a middle name, Gary? Uh, yes, I do have a middle what's, name. What's the middle name? My middle name is used for when my mum wants to tell me. <laughs> okay, so when that's I'm why, as easy as it is. That's why it? children have middle names, isn't it's, it? I think so, yeah. So we go to the checkout. We'll never know, guys. We'll never know. And it tells me usual um, cart functionality that you'd expect on most shops. Mm. Proceed to payment. So it says test because what does the, so what would that usually it is say? a test. Usually that won't be there. It will just be frontier points and then you complete com complete payment. And there's a bunch of blurb in there just to make sure that people are aware of what they're Don't buying. worry about the blurb. The usual. Don't worry about the blurb. Bits and pieces. Uh, so is this very sort of typical of, of, of Xbox One stuff? I'm not really an Xbox One player too much. Yeah, there, pretty so. much. Generally, most. Sorry, I don't want to name any other competitors' games, but. You can name whatever, any game you want. OK, so you can buy crowns, for example, okay. in a particular online. Well, I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, and then you can use those to spend in-game currency. Yeah. But to reiterate what Ed said earlier, these are That's purely okay. for cosmetic paint jobs and stuff. You can't yep. use them to buy <coughs> extra it's weapons or anything yeah. like that. And then once you're finished, you press your guide button yep. and you go back to the game, which is pro is this is going to play nice? Who knows? Oh, look at that. It's playing nice. And then you can go into your paint job hey. and you can see the one that I bought earlier. And the one that I just purchased. Okay, get put the rattler on. Oh, there yes. we go. And then you do that. And look at that. Well, there you go. So I think there are some people who want to sort of play. So maybe we can get some. Uh, I mean, first of all, everybody, round of applause, <laughs> Gary Richards, for that wonderful demo. I think uh, we should about paint jobs. We should applaud the code for, stand, we should, for, stand and, and for not falling over. And the code for not falling over. And the code is for not falling over, although they may have fallen over. There we, we, we don't know. Uh, there, it's finally fallen mm. over. Because <laughs> we, spoke, we spoke too soon. We spoke too soon. Right. Okay. So, um, guys, if you can see that the uh, we're getting slightly darker, that's because the sun is going down outside. We are around the point. Yes. But yeah, thank you everybody for um, uh, w you know give some love to Gary Richards for that wonderful demo. I think he's having a look to see if we can get the demo going for um, what was the other thing you wanted to show? Private groups Private and. Groups. Customizable controls. Can we show the the wonderful uh, starting, the new starting thing? E Do they get all work? Yeah. yeah, go on. Yeah, go on then. It just looks really nice. Um, yeah, go on. He's yeah, nervous about it. I am it. nervous about it. Look, see, that's all I wanted to show. There we go. Look at that. So it's a new <laughs> logo that we're showing. Yeah, it's nice. It's just a nice. It looks really nice. That's all. And then the actual load up as well is quite nice with the, the yeah. new frontier logo. Looks so we've sharper. we've just given the front end a bit of a polish. Yeah, and you know, and a lot of other stuff as well. Uh, but obviously, we'll go into more details about that later. Yes, we'll um, it's right, now so going to spend twenty-five. It's now going to spend five minutes. Uh, should we really quickly minutes. play a video, and we can talk over the video, and maybe answer some questions over the video of uh, the the so we controls can, remapping? We why not? I think we're going to try. I'm going to be brave. Okay, I'm going to be on. brave. Do you want to kill that? Kill it. Yeah. Wait one second, it's loading up. I just want to show because oh, it looks really nice when it does the, the, the swell. So, questions. We can ask us some questions there. And there was, um, yep. I think you posted on the forums? Yeah. Was it? Um, I did. I posted on the forums on the, uh, for asking some questions. We've got some, uh, some questions in from Bongo Baggins, who yes. asks, is Arena for Xbox something you're looking at planning slash ruling out? So we like Bongo. He's, uh, he's very, very prolific on the forums. Yeah. Um, yeah, but he's always generally very supportive. So um, yes, Arena for Xbox as a standalone product is something that we're working on. As Ed's already said, I think you in addition, we should probably you should probably keep an eye out for announcements and bits and pieces. In, in, in addition to in the addition other, to the other announcement, other announcement. There are lots of coming. announcements, but it's turning into a. It, I've the people the, we're getting glared at by imaginary eyes from all directions. Yes. Here. Yeah, we get we get told off. 
I sometimes post on the forums more than I probably should. No, you're all right. But um, well, it's senior producer, that's what you're good. allowed to do after 13 years of working at Frontier Development. Uh, so also, uh, Bongo Baggins also asked, will the planets in 1.6 have the same fissured textures as 2.x? Yes. So we're, up, we're making some graphical changes to 1.6. Sorry, reading those. And yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, the idea is that the Xbox will have the same, um, will all use the same textures and stuff. One of the things that we're trying to do for 1.6 is mm. sync the PC and the Xbox stuff together okay. because it just makes it easier if everything's all running off the same code base. Right. So, I yes. mean, it. It, graphically, yeah. it's going to look good. That's it. That's what I want to know. Gonna look awesome. <laughs> I mean, so from my point of view, it's just like, gra is the graphics going to be good? Yes, they're, they're, they're going to look. Nice to know, they're going to yeah. look very, very nice. Um, um, yeah, we've made some. They're going to look. Oh, I don't know if I can say. Yeah, go on. Why not? They're going to look better than they currently do. Yeah. On the PC, I think. Oh really? Yeah. So wow. we've made some improvements. We've done awesome. the render guys and the terrain guys have been working really hard. You're allowed to say that. Of course, you <coughs> say that. You're on the Xbox One side. Uh, we're all together in this, is what I meant to say. We're all together. That's not the kind of thing we're supposed to say. All right. Uh, Synergi Synergize asks uh, about previous decals. It was announced at the time that Pack South decal would be available to Xbox players when decals came about. Uh, as for previous decals, I suggest. Oh, that's this. I'm reading. You are the reading. Answer. You are reading the answer, but that's fine yeah. because you gave me the Pack South. I did. Or was it yours? So I'm going to do it again. It was me. Somebody. So we announced at the time that the Pack South decal. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Is it Keep ready? with it. Keep with ready it. yet? No, it's transparent. Uh, we announced at the time that Paxar decal obviously would be available to Xbox players when we put that out. So uh, people, all the decals and stuff. So uh, things in things in the past, it's going to have to be basically if you attended an event uh, like Pax East or Pax Prime, and you picked up one of those little one of those little cards uh, oh, okay. to get a a, a a paint job or a decal. Uh, what you're going to have to do is email community at frontier.co.uk and tell us about that you got the card and send us the code on there and then we'll be able to make it so that you've got uh, the uh, paint job or the decal in your Xbox One account. So we are going to be doing those things and we can go back and get those decals uh, from those events. But it is uh, something that has to be done manually, so we will wait for you to email community at frontier.co.uk as well. Uh, Alexander Wells says, Ed needs some sleep, lol. Uh, I'm all right. I don't <coughs> know what's fine. happening. It's something in the water today. Is yeah, it's, Gary, it's Gary Richards' um, vibe. He gives off a distracting energy, like a positive one. Like um, it's because uh, I'm in awe. <laughs> I'm in awe of, of this, your seniority. Oh, I don't know about that. It just means I'm old. Right. You're not well, as tired as you were last time I did one of these. I was that was the 24 our live one just before Christmas. Was that the last one you did of these? Yeah, the special effects one, which was just an awesome thing to do. Was Barry really was good. just amazing. Yeah, but yeah, really you good. did you did a full 24 hours. It was about 11 o'clock, I think, Yeah. when I came on. on the, in the morning? No, in the evening. On the evening. So, but yeah, by the morning. So obviously, at that point, I just didn't don't remember no. who came on at 11 o'clock. There, uh, there was certainly an interesting aroma in the room in the morning. Well, that's... That kind of sickly red ball. That's some, luckily, that's something people at home can't yeah, sense. True. So it's fine. Uh, so yes, we are going to be um, playing some Elite Dangerous CQC on Xbox One in just a few moments. But first of all, I know that Gary has got a few things that you want to show us still. Um, we're still, we're, we're, still we're at the mercy of the machine. All right, okay, so I've got another so question then. We've um, got some, there was a decal question, wasn't there, about uh, yeah. the Xbox so somebody's asked, I'm going to read the question now. Yeah, I've lost it. You've lost it. It's fine. <coughs> it's all free flow, isn't it? Um, so Xbox decals for GPP people is something that we've talked about for a while. The GPP decal. GPP decal. It's, yeah. it's been <laughs> slow in coming through, which yeah. has potentially frustrated me as much as it has, I'm I sure suspect, has, the yeah. people that desire, that um, want to get hold of it. Um, it will be coming in 1.6, and if I let Ed yep. just get hold of this yes, thank you very for much. a little bit, yeah. I will stop building the game. Uh, that's all right. And so uh, we, have, we, we do, do have a picture of a the... A preview of it, look yeah, at that. So that is, uh, that is exactly what it will look like for the GPP yep. decal, which is pretty cool. Um, so. There you go. Yep. So when so that's going to be when paint be jobs are available. So it's, in one point six. it's coming in. Well, let's say it's coming in one point six. Okay. Is the easiest right. thing to say. Okay. 
that's yeah, that makes sense. Cool. Like uh, I say, it's taken longer than it should have done, and we will make sure that we have um, the the server guys took a snapshot of everybody that had currently bought Elite Dangerous at the time that the game preview program ended, and it's coming free to everybody mm -hmm. that was part of that initial launch and joined us at the start, okay. which was nearly a year ago. So I suppose that's, that's a little bit of a sort of um, bragging rights that they were there from the start, sort of yep. thing, that people to work, okay. So how many, do you know how many people? Uh, uh, thousands I don't know and thousands of how many around. that would be. No, so I don't know. The top. Right, okay, more questions. A, Are we still waiting few, for this build to, to load up, or what's happening over here? hundred. I see. No, I'm not. I'm not going to say. No, any go on. You, you, yeah, you. I'm just not going to say any numbers because that's just going to get me into trouble. This is working with live builds on a live stream. It right, is. It is happening right now. Um, but you know, I, I appreciate your bravery coming onto this stream. Like, no, we're just going to do a live build. It'll be absolutely It'll be fine. fine. But while we're waiting for that to load. Uh, w Stevenson asked, no, we just asked that question, that this one. is going well. Um, Electric Mayhem asked, I owned Elite on PC and Xbox One, will the paint jobs transfer? So, ah, good, yeah. I'm glad. So yes. this is going to take the, the thunder out. Unfortunately, we can't share paint jobs between platforms. So I don't know how many people there are that have PC and Xbox, but um, yeah, if you want your favorite paint job on the Xbox, then you're going to have to unfortunately buy it mm. for the Xbox. Okay. Yeah. There is and no way of that's sharing it. Literally, because there is no way of doing it, and if yeah, there yeah there is no <laughs> way. <laughs> no, no there is face. no way of doing it. Right. Okay. Yeah. So we can't, we, 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 we can't do that we that can't way. So unfortunately, that. you can't share those across. Um, if it was easy for us to do, then it yes. If happen. it was yeah, if it was something that we could do, then obviously you yeah. know we, we would look to be able to do it. But okay. it's not it's not anything that, that we're allowed or that we can do easily. Okay, so can I put focus onto the onto the screen at the moment? No, I wouldn't know. No, he's, he's, he's I'm sorry, but pushing the boundaries here it of is, what we allow is, on this, this live stream. Uh, stuff, David X seven three one zero asks: Will people who purchase the GPP be invited to join an Xbox beta? Uh, if we do have one for Horizons or content going on, if if Horizons is coming, well, we know Horizons is coming to Xbox One. Yes, Horizons. Uh, we just don't know when. So uh, uh, yeah, we don't have a date on that, of course. But nope. like I said before, there is an announcement coming. Anyway, um, but so this person here, yeah. David X seven three one zero, asks: Will will the people who purchased the GPP be invited to join a beta if we do have one? So. We are still trying to. We're still figuring out how we do an Xbox beta. Um, there is a dev cost in terms of time and resources in doing one, and we've got to make sure that the cost to the team mm -hmm. is worth the benefit that it's going to give us okay. in the short amount of time right. that the betas run for. So I think okay. the, traditionally the, be the PC betas run between sort of four and six weeks. Okay. And to do an Xbox beta within that time and make that worthwhile mm -hmm. for not only actually putting it through subs yeah. and getting it out there to people mm -hmm. and then getting the feedback back and then yeah. being able to apply those fixes. Yeah. It's it's a dev cost that we need to value. Uh, we need to uh, we need to work out whether it's actually okay. The, the benefits of doing it. However, and that's what you get with Gary Richards. You get candid responses like that. Yeah, and I get honest. Told, I get then told, you get told off. I get told off for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Uh, are we? I mean, are we ready to uh, show some stuff off here? Or uh, no, it? we might have to go to the video. However, okay, any right. any beta that we do do on Xbox, any mm -hmm. beta that we do run, will be by invite. So we will... Because that's the way that Xbox... Because that's it. how it works. Yeah. You, you can't buy a beta on the store. You can't search for it. Mm -hmm. So it will be... Mm -hmm. We'll send out 5.5 codes. Okay. So we want We will make an announcement about that. Cool. So we wanted to show uh, <coughs> some of the... Uh, it was the private groups in action? It was, yes. But unfortunately, <coughs> the build isn't playing along with you. The build right is now. not playing nice. That's what, that's what happens when you try and do things live. I don't know why the build isn't playing nice. It was playing nice earlier. Live TV. It'll be all right on the night. All right, so the next thing that we've got them, of course, is to show is... We have that. We have a video of... Come on. Come must... <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Customizable controls. <laughs> sorry, I'm, my, right, okay. my brain is trying to do yeah, no, me too. a I'm, million I'm, things I'm all at the same time. Like so, I was really... Yeah. Here we go. So this is this video. Uh, maybe I should start it again. 
Yeah, from so the, this uh, is a, a video that we did earlier which shows how customizable controls work within the the Xbox. So the guy here is we're we're changing I can't actually read that with these yeah, with, no, with these eyes small. that I've So one of the things that people complain about most and it's something that I've done, if you go to various space stations there are definitely so if you want to pause it. Uh, yeah about there, that's a good place. Um, mm -hmm. So one of the things that a lot of people complain about is the fact that when we designed the game, we foolishly put landing gear on B and down, okay. which is also the same as boost if you've got a slightly old controller, which some of the dev kit controllers are. And there are plenty of spaceships in pieces. There are plenty of spaceships in pieces at the back of the space station where I've accidentally hit B rather than B and down and the controllers have got it wrong. So people were saying, why can't we, um, why can't we have remappable controls? And it's like, well, you can't, we didn't think we could do it, as I said earlier. And then the guy that um, is in charge of the system had a marvelous weekend and uh, we've managed to do <laughs> it. So if awesome. you carry on. Yeah, we can sort of skip through so a little bit. Uh, no, no, other way. Oh, you want back. to go back? Yeah, just play it through. So basically, what we've done is the. Sorry, he's going joining a private route there as well. Actually. Yeah, so that was the so that's the second part of the video. So here we've just got all of the various bits and mm -hmm. pieces within the the same controls that we get on the PC. So mm -hmm. if you pause it now, and that, and that goes into private groups. Oh, sorry, just back one that's second. Fine. So all the same controls that you get on mm -hmm. the PC. The, the, you've got the same, yeah, if you pull that back up, there we go. Um, if you get the same controls back on the PC. You're ready to do some that you uh, do a on the uh, on the Xbox. And somebody asked over the weekend, whilst I was playing Elite, oh, what was I doing over the weekend? One of the CGs, and I was re <laughs> reading the forums at the same time, okay. and someone posted a question which was, on the PC, you have something called a mouse widget, which is a little dot that you can toggle on and off that shows you where the center of the screen is. Okay. And someone in the forums went, why can't we have this mm -hmm. on Xbox? And I thought, that's a good question. Why can't we have that on Xbox? Because one of the things that we missed out of the menus when we were first doing it was a field of view. Mm -hmm. And it turned out that was really easy to just add into the menu system. And we put it in in about half an hour. The guys put it in and we pushed it out. And everyone was like, brilliant. We've got an FOV thing now. And the same thing's true for this. So I spoke with the guys on Monday. And they went, oh yeah, we can drag that in. And so it's going to be a toggle that will go out in 1.6. So cool. that people can now Great. see the center of the screen. So there if there is things that you want, you know, certainly he, this, we, yeah, we do scour the forums. And it's been interesting since we announced that we were doing customizable controls with, so I can't remember who it was, someone started a thread which was, what customizable controls are you going to customize? Awesome. And then there was a whole thread about yeah, what yeah. people were going to do. And the guys that are working on it, and they are still working on it, which is why we've not she been able to show it live. It. We've been monitoring that, mm. and we've gone, oh, that's a good idea. Oh, I never thought you could do that. And then they've updated the code so that they've then got things that people are asking for that mm. we hadn't thought of cool. are going to be available in the build. Cool, excellent. So uh, before we move on, to where it was about private groups as well. We had a little bit of private groups in that video. Do you want to go back we to We did, video? yes, we can or go to private groups. Before we do, let us both do a really quick uh, collective wink to camera about the backdrop. You ready? Wink. Wink. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, no, I'm, sure, I'm, sure, it, early, I'm sure earlier we said it was in development, didn't we? Yeah, absolutely. It's, just, it's a dev build. So private groups is another thing that people have been asking for. Mm -hmm. So, I I personally don't like private groups. I'm gonna get told off on that, aren't I? Um, um, no, so I, mean, I you always play an opinion, even if it is the wrong opinion. Yep, I always play an open play, and mm. if I'm pause it just move before it the thing. So I always play. That's it. Nicely done. I always play an open play mm. because generally. If I'm transporting cargo around and somebody decides that they want that cargo, mm. then it's my job to make sure that they can't get it. 
Okay. And if they destroy me in the process, then yeah, yeah. that's just part of the game. Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, obviously, however, like, like, you, like you said, it is a contentious opinion. Yes, however, uh, I'm sure. Because some people obviously love the, uh, the private groups system that's in... Um, oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. I don't want that. I want the, oh, gosh, I'm going on. Going on uh, uh, some people so this is in, in Elite me. Dangerous, as it stands on PC, for example, the private groups system, people absolutely love that and do yep. sort of go in there and populate those and do some wonderful, amazing things with those private groups. Yep. So I can see why, and, and yeah, I can see both sides of the argument. I can see why absolutely. people want to play. Yeah. So if I'm playing World of Tanks, that's PvP and that's fine. If I'm playing... Back in the day, if I'd play Command and Conquer, mm -hmm. I would play with my I'd play in a group with my friends, but we would always play PVE mm. because that gave us a better game. So yeah, I understand that yeah, clearly I mean, there are people that want to just do PVE, and that's fine. There's I another. There's another. There's another. It's another time and place for a, <coughs> for the open PVP PVE yeah. debates to happen. Right now, we're here to talk about the changes. So as you were saying, so, so with that private in, groups. Yeah. If this is working. Well, this is actually demonstrating the fact that that was a different system. He does it quite yeah. quickly, but so we it's can just see showing that, that the landing gear yeah, yeah, yeah. changed. So I'm not 100 percent sure where private groups is mm. in this, but generally the way that private groups work on the uh, Xbox is it's all done on game attacks. One of the things that we, one of the reasons it's taken so long. Mm to get it working on Xbox is because we have to use gamer tags. I think it's just spun around. Is that just repeated? Uh, no, it's, just, it's like towards the end of the video. Oh, okay. He so goes in and makes some more changes. And and first well. of all, yeah, just to show what can, what can be done. Yeah, so we have to use, so we can't allow people to create their own private groups. Okay. So you're not allowed to name a private group right. like you can on PC. Okay. All private groups have to be owned by somebody and that somebody uses, donates their gamer tag to okay. that private group. So in the same way that you do with your commander name on PC, but this is something that happens to happen because of Microsoft side of things, or um, is it just, it's it's just, just the easiest the way, way to do it? It's just the way that we have to manage okay. it. Okay. So if your gamer tag was Ed Lewis, you would set up a private group called- How did you guess? Ed okay. Lewis. This. And then you can invite people to join mm -hmm. that, but you have to be friends. You have to be friends with the people or with following. Or follow. So mm -hmm. either the person has to be following you, or they have to be your friend. And mm -hmm. then if they're your friend, you can send them a friends request. Or somebody who wants, who knows that your gamer tag is Ed Lewis, mm -hmm. and wants to join your group, they can follow you. And then once they're following you, it only has to be one way. It doesn't have to be a two way. For you okay. don't have to friend that person. Mm -hmm. They just need to follow you in the same way. Twitter mm -hmm. works where you can have followers. Of people that you're not then following. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If you think of it like Twitter, like, uh, it makes yeah. more sense. So, um, sort of. <laughs> and then, so you follow somebody, weird, yeah. and yeah. then they can then search for your group, and they can request an invite. And much the same as on PC, you can have open private groups and closed private groups. Okay. So you can set up a private group where you can allow anybody to join. Mm -hmm or you can set it up so that the user, the, the manager of the account has control. So I would send you an invite and then you'd have to accept that. Oh, sorry, I'd send you a request. Yeah, and, and then you'd have to that accept that the request. Or you can just okay. have an open private group where anybody cool. can join. So if you wanna be getting involved with private groups, get adding each other right away, uh, right now. So are you ready in time for when it comes out? Um, so do we have any more? I mean, there's lots more questions, there are but we could answer those whilst we're playing some CQC. What do you think? Yeah, go on then. All right, so- I was, I was playing gonna... CQC last night and- Yeah, yeah well, well I just played and I won, so. Yeah, I know, I came in just as you were- Just as I, I got a victory. I unlocked an achievement on this build. Uh, all right, so uh, we're gonna go to a quick back soon screen, but first of all, I do wanna say um, thank you to Gary. Thank you so much for coming along and talking about all this sort of stuff. I know we lost our minds a little bit halfway through, but yeah, I think that we I'm gathered it. I think that we got it back. The build didn't work. It's all right. No, I think it's been fantastic. So round of applause for Gary. Uh, give Gary some love in the chat as well, just while we go to the back soon screen, uh, and we will see you in just...
Yep. Hey, and we are back, everybody. Thank you very much for waiting there. Sorry about that. Uh, we had to switch over from the build to actually a live build out there in the real world. So now that we're not playing with fire, Gary Richards, sorry, we can get we can get back to things how they should be. We do already have uh, it up and running, as you can see here. We're ready to play some deathmatch against you guys at home, uh, PC players. Um, um, PC regulars, we have we have our regulars that come and play PC every single week. We do a uh, CQC, and maybe we will start to throw uh, Elite Dangerous CQC in the mix for the Xbox One. As you can see, there's lots of people here watching today. Yeah. Um, so thank you very much for joining us. Uh, let's, without further ado, uh, let's play a round of CQC. While you answer some questions, I'm going to start loading up. So what this is how it works with the PC guys. What I do is I type in chat because there's a 30 second delay. I type in the chat. I say. Uh, starting deathmatch now, and then your guys start searching for the deathmatch. And then if you're lucky enough to get into a game with us, then that's that's fantastic, good for you. So searching DM now, and then I literally oh I realised that now I was trying to control it with the PC then so out of habit. So we're searching for a DM now. Uh, let's have a look. I just want to brighten up this a little bit because we're a bit. It's getting a bit dark outside. Isn't yeah. It? yeah. I'm hoping my curry's arrived at some point. Yeah, I'm sure your curry's outside ready for you. Only rank two. Yeah, that is true. Uh, but we have in the game here, we've got, we've got Benjamin 99 and Commander Super Shadow 98 XD. So make sure you jump in there. We are waiting for more players to join. I'm sure that there are people watching this that can join us in the game now. Uh, while we're waiting for that, why yeah, don't so you... Yeah, so there was a couple of controllery type questions that were asked, which were... With the new controller layout, will I be able to make my left stick throttle to essentially give me a mini HOTAS? So that was an interesting one that we saw and thought, mm. yeah, that's good. We not actually thought about doing that. So the guys were looking at that today. So it's something that we're looking at, but I can't, I can't guarantee that it's going to be there. And somebody else put, I've never been able to bind my PC controller to be the exact same way as the Xbox controller because PC buttons press PC buttons trigger on press, whereas Xbox buttons trigger on release. So that is true in terms of the context menus, but there's an option called enable menu groups. So you can have a face button that just instantly triggers. So if, for example, you wanted landing gear on, so, sorry, if you wanted boost to just be on B, if you disable, this is where it gets confusing, if you disable the menu group, then that just becomes a single button with no context menus around it. And you hit that, jobs are good. And, um, and then pressing B will instantly boost. If you have the option as true, then it does trigger on release because you're then waiting, because the, the system has to then decide whether or not you want to boost or whether you want to go for the, um, go for one of the context menus. So you can actually do that already. And that's the answer to that one. I'm just I'm reading. Sorry, uh, so, <laughs> Osric Voigt is a head glazed, glazed expression with a, a tongue face. I was trying to get the Xbox One working properly. So damn, I got sorry. Kicked. My lady's watching something. Like, oh, bongo. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. And um, yeah, uh, Dusty Arnold's Arnie's another guy. Sorry, I broke. Yeah, I, I think I think I might have broken our game. I'm sorry. Have you what have you done? I've there? loaded it up again. It's all right. Oh, there you go. Okay. So that's all good. Um, will we ever be able to use Connect for head tracking? It's something that we'd like to do, but it's not on our immediate radar. Um, the same thing goes for something else that always crops up is customizable HUD colors. Mm. Again, it's something that we'd like to do, but it's complicated on the PC. It's even more complicated on the Xbox. So I, I don't know whereabouts it is in our plans. Oh, have we mentioned languages? Languages are coming oh, yeah, to absolutely. the Xbox. Sorry, so we've yeah. got, I mean, we um, haven't mentioned those. So one of the reasons the build is late tonight is because it was building all of the uh, localization that we've got in the game now, which takes uh, considerably longer than it used to if you're only building English. But we're bringing French, German, and Russian to 1.6 when that releases okay. on Xbox. So the mm -hmm. idea is that, again, I've, I've, we've said we've said many times that this build is to try and sync together all those little bits that we've not managed to get into. It is loading now. Sorry, I just saw 
Bongo saying. What was the feel free to like? feel free to chat, please, guys. Um, yes, so we are trying to just pull in all those last little bits that are on the Xbox, are on the PC, but aren't quite quite on the Xbox yet. And uh, there'll be a few bug fixes and bits and pieces as well that go in. So the idea is that everything will be a lot more in sync because, okay. believe it or not, it's more work for us to have things separately than it is to have things together because we have to do as, as people have seen we have to end we end up having to do special builds depending on what flavor of the game you've got oh my goodness me they've all started speaking german now. yeah that, that's because that's griefed's in the chat griefed is one of our german commanders hi griefed thank you for joining thank you for joining us uh we are searching again for dm uh so hopefully i think apparently some people got into a match uh, but we're just still waiting could it be something to do with our uh, our internet connection internally? More than likely, yes. We, right. are we did test it early on. Oh, no, we're, we're finding we're, some we're people. Getting something. We're getting some we people. We do... Oh, I know, it's a bit... Because we're a business, mm -hmm. our tech guys tend... We have yeah. a very strict network. Yeah, no, we got a game earlier on, so it should Policy. be fine. So, but it, it should work. Agreed. Mm. But there we go. We're in. But yes, we do have, uh, we do have a slightly strict network. Hmm. We have to yeah, we're in. It. Great. Here we could. What else have we got to answer? Um, huge weapons. Apparently. Question <laughs> with uh, huge is weapons. That, that ba how, much, how hard was it to balance them, and which one's my favourite? So that's from that's from Dark X Phoenix. Is that? Uh, which X? one are you looking for? Dark X Triple X Phoenix Triple X. Good name. Very catchily named. I like that. Um, so balancing the huge weapons was fairly straightforward because the design team had already designed and have already designed lots of things that aren't currently in the game yet. So it was just a case of dusting those off, uh, getting the artwork um, and uh, yeah, putting them in the game. So it was, like I say, it was fairly straightforward. Uh, in terms of a favourite, I genuinely don't have a favourite because I spend, I spend most of my time I kind of spend a lot of it trading rather than shooting people so I generally only shoot people that shoot me so I don't really have a favourite hiding you wouldn't be able to do this in a look at you they're coming for you yeah, I'm sure I'm absolutely sure I'm so glad that last, like I say last night I just got absolutely mullered Self-destruct in 10 seconds. Unfortunate. Self-destruct in 5. Self-destruct sequence the, disengaged. The patch wasn't... Oh, something. absolutely devastation. Seeking matchmaking error. How dare you, oh, CQC? So, and another question from Porkchop. Let's try again. He's another one that uh, posts on the forums quite a lot. Um, what was the I issue with the it. gimbal weapons and was that the reason for the patch being delayed? So, that wasn't the reason for the patch being delayed and as far as I know there wasn't any uh, as I said there weren't there wasn't any problems with the gimbaled weapons or anything and um, the reason the patch is delayed or has been delayed is because we've restructured the way that the game works and we've had to do that because we're working on bringing horizons out we had to change some of the fundamental ways that the that the game uh, the DLC and everything all played together nicely and that's taken uh, a considerable amount of effort and a considerable amount of time so that's why the patch has been delayed I would have liked to release it a little bit earlier to try and make sure that the PC and the Xbox stays in sync but after 1.6 we've done a load of groundwork now so after 1.6 the plan is to try and make sure that the PC and the Xbox stays together a lot more than Fantastic. it has done in the past. So the idea is we obviously can never release stuff on the Xbox as quickly as we can on the PC because mm -hmm. we just can't. Mm -hmm. But well, Frontier, should... you're doing a lot of work. We're, uh, we're doing a lot of work. I say Frontier. I think like, yeah. We're doing a lot of work to make sure that it is as close to it as possible, right? Yeah. So the idea is that you know we'll, we will roll PC bug fixes up. We mm. might roll you know four or five. PC patches into a single Xbox CU and push that out and hopefully people will be getting CU updates a lot more frequently than they have done cool. and it's okay it's kind of disappointing 
Just, just really quickly going to say something that? on here as well. Um, everybody in the chat, I want you all to say hi to DCW. And I'll be picking somebody who says hi. If everyone just says hi, DCW, in the chat now, and we'll be picking somebody at random in just a moment to uh, give away a the very first Xbox One paint job of wow. your choice as well. Let's so say hi, DCW, because he really wants the attention. So we're going to give it to him. Five, four, three, two, <laughs> so one. There you go. Hey! Yeah. Yes, uh, one of the questions from... Someone's like inside, inside you there. Dusty Arn, he's one of our volunteer forum moderators. Yep. A very, very useful guy, very it's helpful. Really fantastic, yeah. um, Will the new overhaul bulletin board work. have new missions or is it just a cosmetic exchange? So, there you won't die to die. be... I don't think there's any new missions, but Let's the kill. change will make... You just hide. I thought he died. Sorry, I'll stop talking because no, you're no, talking no, about fine. real proper things. No, no, no. This I is just I, ac I accidentally didn't. Uh, it makes a change for me not to be being shot at. I'm getting away. I'm doing it. For it. At least I'll at oh, least kill it. That. Right? You've taken, sorry, you've taken the lead with one. Under attack. Oh, awesome. Weapon sorry. Enhanced. So, the change to the bulletin board will mean that it's much easier to find the right, oh, large yeah, the variety of missions that we've currently got because there are lots of missions out there and sometimes it's difficult to find the, the, the ones Shields that you want so that, that will certainly help that um, what else have we got off the list come on see you guys need to you xbox guys need to practice your cqc more <laughs> oh this is oh what a shame what a shame again our network is not playing is it to do with our network or are people getting kicked off the game on at home as well is that what people are experiencing right now which is a real shame because yeah. I was just getting into it there just getting into it it is an odd one because it's a shame like I said I read in the forums that you know some people stop struggle. saying hi DCW now by the way Fine, some sorry. people struggle to play um, some people struggle to play, to get a match yeah. but I was playing last night yeah, and it was fun. I played yeah. for a good couple of hours and I didn't have any trouble at all other than being constantly shot at and uh, and dying and realizing just how good well for the next the game you can get you can I tell you what give yeah, it, you let, let's on. see if I've got see any, if you've got the look of the, 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 the lucky let's touch see if the Xbox loves me any more than it loves you <laughs> okay so one of the guys that's just come in that that was the guy that I was playing again last night, yeah. <laughs> and I got hey. absolutely mullered. Right, I'm going to pick a winner. So, uh, yeah, random, whoever that, said that. Uh, whoever that is. Control and F. Is a good. I D C W. I've randomly chosen. We have Benjamin Franklin Style. Benjamin Franklin Style. I'm writing down your username. Borrow your pen. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, you're in a. You're in you're a game. In, um, you're going to die. No, it's you. You're playing. I know, but I was, like I say. I was playing against the guy last night, or the guy, the person last night, and uh, yeah, was getting reasonably well beaten. Okay, Benjamin Franklin Style, thank you very much for joining us, and uh, you are the winner of the very first Xbox One paint job, which is pretty cool. Okay, so, yeah. Benjamin Franklin Style, if you could send me a PM on this very elite, dangerous uh, Frontier Development uh, YouTube channel, go in there and send a personal message to me. Uh, I'll make sure I pick it up. If not, I've got your name written down here as well, and I'll send you a PM tomorrow if you don't send me one on here. So there you go. And then I will tell you all the details about how we're going to do it. It's basically going to be one paint job of your own choice. And we'll, I'll, like I say, I'll tell you how, how that works later on. It wasn't rigged. We're going to be doing another uh, another <coughs> one. Is is he happy anyway? Is DCW happy that he's been? Is he still is he still there? He's probably panicked and left. Can you subscribe? Oh, he's spamming. DCW, shame on you, DCW. <coughs> So he's asking people to subscribe to his channel. Uh, we got time for another couple of questions? Yeah, go for it. So crossplay, I've seen it pop up a couple of times on there. Is it possible to have crossplay between PC and Xbox? We're all no, I'm just lacking at people. Yeah, killing CQC matchmaking. Um, it's probably no. <laughs> I hope not. So yeah. <laughs> no, I stop the stress myself. testing. Yeah, I, thing. Yeah, no, go on. I keep moving away. <laughs> um, so crossplay with PC. Uh, and Xbox. So the vision of the game has always been that everybody plays in the same galaxy, can meet each other, and it's all everybody all all plays together. Oh, go on, try, try and so talk, I'm, try and talk whilst playing at the same time, and play at the same time. Well, it's, um, considering I'm not going to last very long, it should, shouldn't take too long to die. Um, so the idea is that, like I say, everybody all plays in the same 
galaxy. Um, we've kind of got that to a certain extent in that, you know, first discovered if PC players or Xbox players, they can see each other. Mm. Um, and I, I quite like the community goals. I've yep. been doing a few of those just recently. And uh, it's quite cool that people can join together. Yeah, there we go. You can get a chance. Didn't even get anyone in my sights. Um, and I quite like the fact that you know cross-platform people can contribute to the same goal. And I can go into let's do that. I can go into a CG, yeah. and I can see that you know there are two or three thousand people that are playing it, and they've already managed to ship like three million tons of whatever it is that, that people. Yeah, want. yeah, no, people love that stuff. And it's really cool. People love that uh, the CG. They, they put a ton of amount of effort into it. It's really, really impressive how quickly they actually managed to get things done. Oh, Come on, Gary, concentrate. Oh, ugh, for goodness sake. No. Oh, the I'm just, I just got, I'm just so glad that I got a kill. Yeah, no, you did. Like I say, last night I managed to get one kill and maybe two or three assists, but I haven't played this since... Somebody had a good question earlier on, and I do want to ask you, so sorry, I've got to lean over your controls there. Uh, we have... Uh, Where are you? It was, it was a good question. I was just trying to find it. Oh, yeah. Leo Sarmiento asks about the Elite Wireless Controller. So not the not Elite Dangerous Wireless Controller, but, you know, the Elite Controller. Yeah. Uh, is that sort of thing bindable then? So Even those little back triggers and things like that. So the again, Eject. got used to this last night. So the Elite Controller, all the the paddles underneath aren't remappable in any different way than mm -hmm. the face buttons. All they all the all the paddles do at the moment is oh, you can tell I can't walk and chew at the same time, can't you? Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, then, right. This is this guy. He, oh. Um, yeah, so the paddles just emulate the, the face buttons. Okay. So if you bind something to B, for example, and then you Shields change that by, and Taking you have damage. that on one of the paddles, mm. then that's how it works. Eject. But we don't have direct control over those mm. paddle buttons any more than the face buttons. So we don't see them going side. We only see the, all, all of the controller stuff is all done by the OS. So you can't have, the, you can't remap the button, the paddle buttons, to be different context to the face buttons okay. because the Xbox OS handles the mapping of those paddles itself. Now, right. whether Microsoft can change that or will change that in the future, I don't know, but that's... Is that the same go for the like the little controller pads? I'm going to ask that question as well. Like the actually the chat pads. Chat pads. Yeah, so the, the same chat goes for that as well. Yeah, the chat pads Three, can only be used two, for... One. Nicely done. Gary, I'm a little bit upset about that. <laughs> oh, no, uh, by the way, everybody, uh, DCW is going, so say goodbye, DC, say bye, DCW. If everybody says bye, DCW. Oh, of look course, at that, that's embarrassing, I, isn't it? I will. <laughs> Bottom of the heap. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're going to leave this game, and I know that we just got into it, but should we give it another try? Yeah, go on. All right, I'm going to play another one. We're not on the top. Are, are we on the clock here? Uh, no, not going cold, I don't Yeah, you kind of might go cold, but other than that, I mean... So I'm going to go back out. We've got, we've got... Somebody's joined us. Yeah, that's that's the guy that was... Oh, all right. Hi, Egon. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, so, yeah, people saying bye to DCW. Good stuff. And then I'm going to pick somebody randomly to win a paint job as well, which is pretty oh, cool stuff. Oh, like at that. <laughs> people love saying goodbye. They do, don't they? <laughs> Have it on a button. All right. Um, sorry, do I need to turn down the... Uh, right, I'm searching DM now. It's going to get lost. I'll say stop saying bye, DCW. Bye. I always feel like... Uh, we're getting joined by is a group sale, here. This doesn't usually happen at the end. Right, well, thank you. Oh, uh, so at least we're going to get some good matches. Yes. Yes, Egon Deval. He was a guy that... The person that was killing me yesterday or last night. Death Dealer says it sounds like they have marbles in their mouths. Is what? It, I, I don't know. Oh, well, look at that. We like we like comments like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, no, the in answer to the post about the languages, the. The new languages are purely uh, text. There is no, uh, we're not local. In the same way that the PC is text translation only, we're only doing um, text 
translation on the Xbox as well. Again, it will just mirror what the what you currently have there on is the Xbox. No, oh, on the PC. Give me one moment. Just got to make sure I'm picking a winner. Are you ready? Okay, and stop. Oh gosh, we're playing. We're playing. We're Do you want to play? Yeah. Well, gone. Here you go. Cannon fodder. All right, so randomly chosen, we have, of course, the fantastic, the wonderful, amazing Zartonis. Zartonis, congratulations. You are the winner of a paint job, the second ever paint job given away on a live stream. Well, in fact, the second, technically, the second ever owned paint job by somebody in the community. Yep. And if that isn't a accolade, then I don't know what is. No, I'm just wondering if we can... Can you re... No, I was going to ask if you can remap like an idiot. It's been, a, it's, been a long, it's been a long day, everybody. Yeah, no, it's we been can't a long play. day. Yeah, Gary has been running around. By the way, can we just say? I, I do. Now that, that now I, that I get home, now that we're getting comfortable with things here, now Gary, it's taken us an hour to get comfortable. Um, our, ha, thank you for running around all day trying to sort these things out. These absolutely. Well, we try you, and give the people what they want. But we, we try. We just want to be like. I was like, okay, we'll do it all by video, and you're like, well, we're going to do it live and show people that it's working. I was like, I'm not sure, but there you go. So, no, absolutely, Zartonis, well done, congratulations. This is why I love the Elite Dangerous community, and it's so good to see awesome. some new, like, so, some some fresh faces as well, some some new people coming in here, as well as like the proper CQC uh, Danger Zone regulars. So like Grieve Tube and Osric and all you guys, and uh, I don't worry, I'm not forgetting everybody who is here already. Like we had uh, Captain Smoker earlier on, all the way earlier on. Let me scroll up. Let me see some more of the regulars. I know we've had yeah, a few. No, I love, I love Andrea Richards is always hanging around with us. It's I nice love the forum. You. The forums are great as well. Yeah. The, the community is, yeah, is really nice. It's yeah, it makes it makes coming into work really well, well, really good. good. Son of the Wanderer, it's just great to see all you people. Here, so thank you for joining us. Yeah, it's really cool that there's yeah, a couple hundred people in here watching. So. Two hundred fifty-nine people watching you die, Gary. No, <laughs> just no, no surprise, pressure. No, surprise, there's no, not more. No pressure. <laughs> yeah. No, I did not forget you, Zanon. I, tell, I told you that I did not. Shields offline. But yeah, I sometimes forget when I get home that I'm mm -hmm. playing the retail build, and I go to a menu and go, "Why isn't this working?" Mm -hmm. And then realise that it's because it's a proper build that I'm playing. Well, if people do want to do some more uh, Elite Dangerous CQC, because it looks like things are actually finally settling a little bit in terms of actually getting the games going, uh, we can throw those into the regular mix. Uh, we can have a PC going at the same time as the Xbox One going. Uh, we could do all sorts of different interesting things. People in the chat let us know, would you be up for that, for doing more of these in the future, <coughs> uh, where we can actually play more games a bit more consistently, when we're not just talking about some of the updates coming, but we can get straight into playing some CPC, alongside Shields where the PC players are as well. Um, and we can do it once every other week. It just depends on how many people want us to be doing that sort of thing. So give us some feedback in the chat, give us some feedback in the forums, and then, uh, yeah. Fun. Also on Thursday um, we have uh, a Road to Beta stream as well, um, which is a very exciting. Oh, uh, going to be a very exciting stream. We're going to introduce some Michael Brooks yeah, coming on, and uh, believe me, for all the Xbox players as well, the news will be relevant and interesting for you guys too. So do come along on Thursday at 7 p.m. BST. It is sure to be a great stream on Thursday. Yeah. We're demonstrating some of the things that we showed off in the newsletter on Friday. Uh, and might have a couple of sneaky new peaks too. Yes, you, you never know what's going on. And, you know, no. Mike will be answering your questions candidly, just as Gary has today as well. Yep. Although Mike tends, yeah, Mike tends to be slightly more candid than I am. Which is, which is good. You know, if you're, if you're, if you're travelling down the road, it's always nice to have someone going slightly faster than you are. Who's Gary? Says Pete Zap Happy. Gary is Gary Richards, who is the senior producer of the Xbox One and also the lead developer on Xbox One, meaning that he is the one who takes control and makes sure that the Xbox One happens. So you've got to be very, very thankful for Gary and uh, the fact that he exists. Otherwise, we wouldn't be sitting here right now playing on Xbox no, One, right? No, no. Oh, it's been very good. Um, yeah. Oh, we've got some new achievements coming as well. We're going to give oh, is that right? Yeah, we're going to refresh. You're making it even harder, or are you making it slightly easier? Because um, I read yeah. an article about it being the hardest 
achievements on it uh, ever, which I think is quite cool, but... Yeah. <laughs> we're we're, we're going to put some beginner ones in. You know, well, you know, I, I know people out there probably don't, but, you know, you work with game designers and they go, mm. oh, I can do it. And it's like, yeah, but you're exceptional. And, you know, we, I worked on a game many years ago where one guy could do one of the a platformer and he played it so much that he could complete the levels with his eyes shut because he could tell where the enemies were by the noises they were making. And you think, wow. That's pretty intense. That's, that's, because, you know, people live in... Why are you there? <laughs> Did I spawn over a it mine or like, something? It seems like you've actually managed to uh, join in a game where... Oh, well, look at that, 50 well, points. Egon Duval is in that sort of game, so we lost two last night. Yeah. Five, four, three, two. Out of bounds, warning. Yeah, that is no surprise. Enemy I salute you, sir. Well done, Egon Duval. Congratulations, well played. Yes. Um, is there a mod in here now? Yeah, Galactic Midden, he's here, he's arrived. Galactic Midden, police these people, sir. Uh, like the, the masses are going wild. <laughs> Look at that. Well, I think I'm going to stop there. Cause Should I play one round? I'm going to yeah, play one. Yeah, go on. Give them uh, have you got any more questions? Uh, I think you've got a couple left, right? Uh, this is... Oof, do I have any more questions? I think, uh, yeah, if you want to... I'm going to back out of this match. If can I, I want to be rude and kick these people out. Oh, you can't do that. Well, they've already had the chance to play with us, um, so I'm going to do it. Sorry, Egon, you played very well there, you but I want to get into and you a were, fresh match. You were very good last night as well. So I'm searching for DM clearly now. I, uh, clearly, the, the couple of hours I was playing whilst the rest of my family were watching <coughs> MasterChef, I think it was, while I was playing this. Uh, you can't escape. So okay, so he can't he can get enough, can he? No, I no, can't, I literally is, can't escape. It's what we need, you know, we need people that... Yeah. Who want to play. Who yeah, want to yeah, play yeah, CTC, because it is... Too slow, too tedious. Very good. Opposite of Fast and Too Fast Yes. So all the dev accounts start to something. Oh, so you were like... <laughs> so I did just double check that. Oh. It's all right. This, he's, we, can't, we can't escape from it, apparently, with a CQC matchmaking error. <laughs> I hope members of QA are watching now. <laughs> uh, yes, we are at the mercy of our, of our network. DCW causing you causing you causing trouble asks Galactic Midden. I don't know, guys. Do you think DCW is causing trouble? Everybody, tell Galactic Midden about DCW. Go on. He's getting the attention he wants, and that's fine. So you're right. I do have a couple of questions. Yeah, go on. Sorry, um, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this. I, I'm bulletin board avatars. Will we get bulletin board avatars with the 1.6 update? Yes, I believe so. I believe that the, the updates to the bulletin boards will bring those avatars to the Xbox along with the 1.6 update. So, yeah, as I said earlier, what we're trying to do <laughs> is make the Xbox, we're trying to sync the Xbox and the PC together. So, I know that some people complain about lack of Xbox stuff in. Nice. Yeah. Um, no, I don't. I don't, I don't no one should kill stuff. anyone. That's what I'm saying. No one should kill anyone, all right? Don't but, take um, care of him. No, no, wait, last Requiem. I actually. Oh God, sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm enjoying no, no, this no, chat. No, no, go for it. I'm enjoying talking to the chat too much. I let you talk. You're, no, the, you're the special guest. You no. talk. You answer the questions. So, like I said, <coughs> we, we're just trying to sync the PC and the Xbox together so that when people see things in the newsletter, they don't think, Five, oh, this is just four, for the PC. Three, they think, two, this is brilliant. One, this is for the game. Age. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying four. to make. We're trying to make it so that we don't have like a PC build and an Xbox build, I would like to be able to just say Elite Dangerous is a game and it's on multiple platforms, but both platforms have the same functionality cool. and the same features. I understand what you're at, yeah. It's a, because it's just... I feel bad about this. I feel like I should leave him alone. You have lost it's, not, the lead. it's not sporting, is yeah, it? Yeah, you see, when I, when I came in, you were... What? You were shooting everybody, isn't you? I, I was doing well. You were doing very well. I yeah, walked I in to just as you went. I took, I had to, just as you took the lead. I mean, Egon de Val's here, and he's going to probably clean up quite quickly. We shall see. It will be an interesting match. I can't see. I can't see my radar. Stop it. Stop oh. with the run requests. <laughs> 
Inter that's ah. an, an interesting tactic. Shields offline. Are you blocking my... Yeah, they're blocking that's Egon, isn't it? Alan JT critical. <coughs> that's very cunning. Oh no, Alan JT. We should have... Uh, Thank you for joining us, Alan. Should a couple more matches, I think? Yeah, we yeah. yeah. um, What have we got? Anything? Debug camera. What have we got coming through? Chris Clark says, debug camera in Super Cruise. Fed up with dropping out of Super Cruise to take screenshots. That is on our list. Is that right? Debug in Super Cruise. I had no I idea. Can't I can't promise. I, can't, I, can't I, I don't know when it's coming. It's another one of these. You know, if we can do it, we will. Mm. But I don't know where it is on the on the schedule. On the overall, like the bigger. Yeah, I mean, there, there might yeah, be technical reasons that I'm unaware of as to why we can't do it. Yeah. But yes, it would be something that would be nice. Are you doing this with flight assist? Off? Oh my echo is like. Shields offline. Because the first time I've said that on live stream. Xbox details for. Dangerous games rise to power. So, uh, yes, somebody <coughs> sent that question through and yep. I forgot to ask Lawrence. What uh, no, that is. You, you should have been asking uh, Zach Antonacci. Oh, okay. Uh, so, it's to do with um, the power play. <coughs> <laughs> it's to do with the. Sorry, this is me trying to talk and concentrate at the same time. Um, <laughs> just laughing at the things going through. Basically, factions. Community submitted factions, Shields of course, the wonderful factions Under that they attack. are, can now, for the first time, might be able to become a power. <sighs> and, and basically, uh, there's going to be a wild card entry into that top five, so that should be top six. Right. And the wild card in, I think it's Dangerous Games Rise to Power, or the Rise to Power is once the final six have been picked. Um, but basically, it's, it's to do with factions making it to uh, become a proper okay, yeah. power in power play, which yeah. I think is cool. So, uh, so we find out the details yes. on the forums. Um, <clears throat> so it is completely open to uh, Xbox players. It just so happens to be the top uh, factions line. at the time. Right. So yeah. I mean, all the details are on the forum. I'm sure somebody can probably link to it or, or explain where it is. Yep. And as far as I know, power play is shared across both platforms. So yep. Um, you can have a power that has Xbox players and mm -hmm. PC players. Yeah, so, so so yeah, it's all it's all it's all there. It's all crossed. Yeah. And like I said, um, we, you know, ultimately it would be brilliant if we didn't talk about PC versions or Xbox yeah, yeah, versions. Yeah. We just had. Ultimately, that would be game. an amazing, amazing thing. If we and that, that you know that is the vision of the game, and crossplay between attack. Xbox and PC. It's been atrocious. The announcement that Microsoft made a month or so ago, where they where they said that they were going to allow. Access a bit more access to the Xbox. Obviously, Shield that helps us. Bad news, bad news, bad news, guys. Take I thought I would damage. be able to take him on, but he found out even it turns out he was in a sidewinder. I'm not yeah, concentrating. I won before, I promise. Um, yeah, yeah, fantastic. Also, quickly, really quickly, I know a couple of these guys as well are going to be uh, speaking with Zach, who is uh, head of community management at Frontier Developments. Uh, one of my colleagues and uh, a good friend, Zach. Uh, he's going to be on Lave Radio tonight. Uh, oh, so yeah, if you Google oh, Lave Radio, if you don't know about Lave Radio, it is a uh, podcast dedicated to really dangerous stuff. Um, some good friends of mine run that. So do check that out. I am just doing terrible. Shields so distracted. Need to get away. Under attack. Shields offline. Shields offline. Well, at least I killed that. So nobody can use that. Um, so do check it out. It's at half past eight. Google Live Radio and find out when they're going live. Um, yeah, it should be quite interesting. Hey, Egon Duval's flying backwards. Oh, I really, really wish I'm that he hasn't chat in all the right places. Oh, absolutely. <sighs> Bongo Baggins, can you turn the alerts off? Yeah, you should probably just turn those alerts off, right? Yes, we should probably. I suspect that they're. Limitations of these what are the gates for? So the gates in CQC are the various power-ups. So you can Hooray. fly through them and they restore your shields. They give you a speed boost. There's a couple of other ones as well that I can't quite remember. 
uh, the speed boost, there's shield, there's stealth, and stealth. there's uh, like double damage, but I think it's like actually triple quad damage. It's massive though. Like they, you can, you really should get on those. If I was properly concentrating, I would be seeking those out almost straight away. Yeah. Um, come on. Here we go. Steal that kill. Steal that kill. Steal that kill. Oh, uh, you got an assist. Target destroyed. Okay. Yeah, got it. Here we go. Target destroyed. One minute remaining. Yeah, someone's pointed out that Deval is 40. Egon Deval is 42 rank. Which is a lot. Mm, it means he's it means that, that person's played a lot. It doesn't it's not necessarily how good they are. As Oh. QA kept pointing out that it does mean that they've played a lot. And generally, the more you play something, the better you get at it. Gary, what part of gameplay do you enjoy the most? Well, that's a good question. Um, I tend to um, I tend to do exploring more than anything. That's my I'd call you a wimp, but that is also the what I do. Enemy hey, Alan JT, somebody other than uh, Egon won. Was Egon in the game? I think he was. So I, yeah, like I say, exploration is that's my highest in terms of ranking. That's the one that's closest. He got a fucking second league. rematch. Yeah, he's good, isn't he? Rematch. In fact, I'm going to back out of there, guys, and I'm going to kick anybody who has joined me. So I'm very sorry about this. I feel very mean, but I want to make sure that multiple people get to play with us. So I'm going to be kicking you. I'm very sorry. Please don't join me. I know that you want to, and I know it is awesome, but somebody's joining me already, and I've been kicked. All right, so I'm going to be doing deathmatch, searching deathmatch very, very soon. Just give me just a moment. Everybody get ready. I'm going to search some more deathmatch. I think we've got time for one more before half past. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Your curry will be getting cold going. I'm very sorry. About it's that. fine. I'm, so I'm a developer. I've, I'm used to yeah, cold, used curry. To cold curry and late cold nights. Curry and late nights. Cold curry and late nights. Pe All right. Pizza at three. We've got a morning. message from Egon. Uh, <laughs> should, I, should I launch it? Any, I've been training for the tournament. Any word on when it's coming? Fantastic, Egon. Ooh. Good training. Good, good for you, sir. Uh, we will have some more information on uh, the tournament uh, for you. At some point, uh, we are still finalising details and things like that, but it, it is still happening, as far as I'm aware, but we'll have some more information on that as soon as possible. Right, DCW, can I have a shout-out? Have you not got enough, DCW, mate? You've not, you've not had enough good shout-outs tonight. All right, uh, so Stormy Stevens joined uh, Searching DM now. Oh. So, will paint jobs be fixed on Xbox to show damage and wear like they currently do? on the PC. If that's the functionality on the PC, then mm -hmm. we'll have the same functionality on the Xbox. We haven't written, paint jobs haven't been specifically written for the Xbox. Okay, so they're going to be the same. They'll, they'll, they'll be the same as they are cool. on the Like we PC. said, like you kept saying, if we can get to that point where we don't talk about two separate games, Xbox players and PC players, that's what we want. We really, really want those to, to work together. Yep. So then people just say, well, there's one game, just so happens to be playing on Xbox, just yep. so happens to be playing on PC. Yeah, and everyone so that gets that's the, the dream. That's the yep. dream. Everyone that gets the newsletter can read it and go, everything in here. Everything here relates to us. Relates to us. Yeah, it would be awesome. Gary, are you... Hey, Phoenix. How's it going? Are you a son of David? Mm. No. A son of David. Or a soon. Soon of David. I like no, that. That's kind of it combines no. um, multiple things. That would that. be a bit difficult considering he's only about four or five years older than I am. Still wondering is <laughs> that Currently they don't show where the same. Where do I get the newsletter? Um, That's the email one. You should, get, you should receive it every week in your email. If you don't, send an email to community.fronte.co.uk saying, I don't receive the email, the newsletter, and I really like to. Uh, but also, you can just search for Elite Dangerous Newsletter, and you will find it there. I think there's a subscribe button to make sure that you do get them. Um, will we get the Brave and Bobblehead on the Xbox? Hey, Matt. That's a good question. I will, that's, that's a question for... I, I, I unfortunately don't have the answer because no, I know I that they were limited the edition and they I'm not sure when limited. they come Yeah, so I'm not sure when they come back or if they come back. I know we didn't say that we wouldn't ever bring them back. Uh, we didn't say that we wouldn't bring them back. Uh, so we might yeah. do at some point. That's a good question. Yeah. Uh, probably Osric, uh, but right now I'm just playing some CQC and uh, I should have set it up before. 
uh, in yes, no. <laughs> in order to yes, stop we blocking should have. But I, I would have thought that Xbox One lead developer Gary Richards would have told me about this. But I suppose you don't expect this to happen, right? So, no, no. <laughs> it's a re it's a retail kit. Uh, yeah, I don't know. exactly. If you, was, I don't know. I if it was a dev kit, if it was my dev kit, then uh, okay. yeah, sure, I'd sure. be fine. But uh, yes, there is a way of blocking it. And mm. certainly, some of the dev kits have things turned off so that we don't broadcast what we're doing. Here we go, back in. This plain plunk notifications are twisting my melon, man. Sorry, I'm oh, so sorry. Yeah. Hold on, I've got it. I'm just gonna really what else quickly. Have we got? Are there really? Is there any danger? Is there any chance of ever merging Xbox and PC data? So there isn't at the moment because of the way that the accounts work under our system. So Xbox and PC uh, have different data sets Jeez. and the way that it works. So, so there isn't currently any way to merge those two datas together. So if you've got a PC commander and an Xbox commander, they do appear as two separate things. That isn't to say that we won't ever do that, but currently it's not possible to do that. My friend wants to know, are you two the sons of Satan? Good question. Uh, probably not worth us in answering. As in, it's probably not worth us wasting the time that it's already taken me to ask the question live to you. Um, but no is ultimately the answer. But of course, if we were, we wouldn't tell you anyway. Oh God. Get out of there. Uh, voice commands would be awesome on Xbox. Will it happen? Adding Connect support is, as I said earlier, is something that we, we are investigating, but we don't have a, any deadline cool. or particular release date for that at the moment. There are certain technical limitations to support and connect. Uh. Sorry, I'll stop talking now because I'm no, 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 on no, what no, you're doing. No, you, you look like you're about to take the lead. Chaff, I hope that'll give me enough time, but he's chaff, very, very skillful chaff. Probably gonna buy him enough time to get away. Yeah, because he's going to get me now. That was terrible. I should have turned on him. Should have turned on him. Ryu Jika, thanks for the message. I won't be checking it out until afterwards, though, but I will have a look afterwards, just in case you've said anything naughty. I don't want to bring it up on the live stream. Gary, tell us a little bit more about yourself and your day-to-day -day job and what sort of things that you get up to there. So, generally, as we've already said, my... My job is to make sure that um, all the uh, all the stuff for the Xbox happens and that all the PC bits and pieces get ported across and everything all works nicely. It's also my job to bring all of the Xbox related bits mm. and pieces to it. Mm -hmm. Like I said earlier, we are we're bringing some new achievements out for 1.6 and we've had fun coming up with, coming up, uh, with, coming up with names and various other bits and pieces. There are some quite amusing um, trader missions. Um, like you said earlier, the, the achievements that we've got, some of them are reasonably hard. So with this new, we're allowed to release new, oh, look at that, Mr. Lewis. Yeah, well, Congratulations, sir. This is a rare occasion <coughs> that people are going to see that happen. Look at that, uh, top of the board. <laughs> well played, everybody. GG. Very, very Thank well played. Us. Shall we play very quickly one more? One last one? Yeah. Are you happy? Are you right with that? Yeah. I'm Do you want to play one last one? Um, I don't know. It depends if we want to give people the satisfaction Everybody, of shooting. Everybody, the satisfaction of beating Gary, or do you want to actually? What, what do you want you to see, do? See, what we should really do is I should pick up another controller. 
we should play together. And pretend to play whilst you then yeah. can okay. everybody for me. Now, I'm happy to play. <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh, okay, I'm you're playing. playing. and it's not really me. All right, okay, let's do... And then I can chat with the chat for a bit. Let's get back in there. Not loading oh, any no. messages up. I should have turned these off. Turn yeah, these notifications we'll off. Next we'll time we've learned. We'll know next time. Yeah, yeah we've every, learned. From every our, day's a school day. Isn't every it? day's a school day. Right, yeah. searching for DM now. Let's go on then. This is a uncomfortably warm. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just like to warm it up for you. I wanted to make sure that you got it. Uh, yeah, we're English. Hello, Harry Robertson. Uh, Osric42 says, Gary, Gary, Gary. Yeah. Chanting for you because they know that you're going to be really, really good. No, uh, I think that what them. what we're going to have to do uh, is uh, very we let you be quiet for this one. I think let you concentrate, ask you no more questions. Um, and I'm sorry, see no, because if, if I'm asking, do. if I'm answering questions, then at least I get an excuse for being rubbish. <laughs> that's a there, there's a user. Look at that. That's an interesting gamer tag. <laughs> Major bomb saw ninety four. You managed to sneak that one past yeah, Microsoft. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how that one got through. Microsoft the, uh, system. That's, that's quite amazing. Because there is a, um, yeah, there is a um, expletives filter, profanity filter they call it, mm. that we we have to use in some of these situations. So occasionally, if I'm you sure we have to use the profanity filter on the messages that we're receiving here from all these people. So, so. if you go to <laughs> a, <laughs> don't we send those messages? If you go to a first discovered planet that's been discovered by somebody on the PC, if it's all astro if it's all stars, yeah. that's the profanity filter filtering it out. Okay. So Matt, Matt Guest, lovely to see you. Yes, we are fellow glorious Brits, of course. Um, William Aguilar says, sorry, I meant what are some features that makes Elite better than SC? I think you mean Star Citizen by that. Um, they're both I mean, they're both fantastic games. I mean, Elite Dangerous is obviously out now. You can buy Elite Dangerous now as in it's been released properly. Yeah, but we out. hope that Star Citizen is, you know, a fantastic game upon release. And I know that a lot of people are saying good things about it in, in its sort of early stages of development, which is really, really cool. Um, we do have a one-to-one -one recreation of the entire Milky Way, 400 billion star systems, whereas I think that they've gone for a bit more of a design space. Is that right? Uh, I think so, yes, cool. but I'm not 100%. Uh, sure, yeah. Yeah. I mean, hopefully, we'd have no to ask our really. community. I know that. Yeah. Um, the, yeah both. I, I really, really hope because we're fans of Star of, of uh, Space Sims. Uh, so, well, I certainly am. So, I hope that it's an amazing game that I can play. So. Yes, and, and anything that you know raises the profile of. Where am I going? Of space. Of, of space, space Sims. Yeah, yeah. You know, is is a Absolutely. good thing, isn't it? Yeah. You know, years ago, everyone was going, well, mm. you know, nobody's going to release a space sim ever again, and you know, here we are, and we've got. You know, Star Citizen, mm -hmm. and we've got us and a couple of other ones that are coming out. Yeah, No Man's Sky, which looks really cool. Uh, yeah, and I think that's you know, a very different all, game to Elite, though. Yeah, and it's all, you know, they're all really cool. They're, you know, they've yeah. all got, there's enough space for everybody to see. Absolutely, yeah. Ah, how am I supposed to see You that? can't blame it on the messages. <laughs> no, 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 I can, I'm more than happy to blame it on my slow reactions. What percentage of the galaxy has been explored so far? We actually did a live stream a few weeks ago with Mike Brooks. If you check out our playlist, you can see them on there. And we um, we asked him that. And I think it's something like 0.2. It's something. 0.0002%. So actually, I think we made it over that 0.0001% of the galaxy. But uh, yeah, so check that out because we do. He does list how many systems have been explored as well. So it's quite cool. Uh, it's called Everything That You Need to Know About uh, Exploration. Egon Duval, thank you for messaging us. I'll check it out afterwards, I promise. You see, I'd quite like a heat map of the galaxy. I think it'd be mm. really good just to see mainly, you know, not necessarily inside the bubble, but yeah. I think it'd be good to see the routes people take yeah. when they're going to Sagittarius A. Mm. Oh, that's got to hurt, sorry. Whatever that was. <laughs> 0.007, okay, thanks, griefed. <laughs> um. Jim Benjamin Franklin style, uh, that's Griefed, who is the German commander, who is uh, one of our regulars who's in there with us. Um, Colin Johnson says, thanks for the awesome update. Ed and Gary, so excited for the update, but please let it come soon. Yeah. As soon as possible, promise. Yes, we will. As soon as we're, uh, yes, as soon as it's ready. And then we can, we can get moving on something else. Hmm. We always like doing new things. Moving on something else. Something wink, else. wink. <laughs> uh, 
You're doing better here, though. Yeah. You're getting a bit more sort of relaxed, that's a bit more relaxed into it. Difficult, is it? I keep forgetting that there's chaff on this thing. So, Gary, at the end of these things, whenever we turn off the microphones, turn off the live stream, the live stream stops, there's somebody all, you know, I, it's, I'm always surprised by the uh, reaction that I get from people. People, some people go, oh, that was terrible. Oh, oh my God. yeah, but how, how are you feeling? How, what, what are you going to say to me as soon as we turn off this live stream? Um, <laughs> what am I going to say? Yeah. Oh, it's been good. I always yeah. enjoy these. I wish. No, it's been a pleasure. Yeah. Everybody give some love to Gary Richards and say thank you for being here with I us. I think this is the last game that we're going to be playing. Yeah, here now, I but. love the community. I think that, you know, reading the forums, no matter how bad the day gets, no matter how, you know, when you're struggling against bugs and mm -hmm. all the other rubbish that people don't really care about yeah. that we have to do to bring them such an awesome game, mm -hmm. um, you only have to read the forums and some of the people there are just amazing. And they, yeah, they, sometimes they can really lift you mm. on, a, on a particularly bad day. So, yeah, and everyone's just willing to help as well. And I, the thing I like about what I do is I play this during the day and then I go home and God bless Microsoft for their Windows 10 streaming. I sit at home and my Xbox One's under the telly in the living room and I stream it to, I stream Elite yeah. to my netbook and I sit and play Elite <laughs> on my netbook while the rest of the family sits and watches <laughs> MasterChef or oh, whatever nice. it is that they're watching on the telly. Yeah. And, you know, as a family, we all still sit together yeah. and we all engage, but I get to play this and I get to play the game that I worked on GG. during the day. Which, which is interesting. Which is just so awesome, you think, isn't you think it? you'd do better then at the CQC? Now, yeah. if we had a competition for exploration, yeah. I'm there. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely I'm there. But well played, everybody. Like I said, Thank I you so much for joining us. I generally only shoot people that shoot me. Okay, I understand, but yeah. The, yeah. The ability of our, our players is always really amazing. They are thoroughly, yeah, a thoroughly nice bunch of people. So, with that in mind, should we uh, sort of ra wrap up with oh, what, what we, we said before? I think we probably should. I've well, got... There's a question that's an yeah. interesting do question. Do you like football? If so, what football team do you support? So I don't know where, that was a left field question. <laughs> but you wanted to answer it. That was asked by uh, Taffmeister. So yeah. thanks very much so, for So yes, I do occasionally watch football. Yeah. Um, I like a good game of football. So I watch things like the FA Cup final and some of the Champions League matches it can be yeah. very entertaining when you get, you know, Bayern Munich versus yeah. Manchester United some bigger, or some bigger Liverpool games. versus whoever. They are just amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, you look at the teams and you think, well, every single player there is part of a World Cup yeah. team, without a doubt. Um, so those sorts of those sorts so of I games. love those. There I like go. those kind of games. Learning something um, about Gary Rhodes every single day. Gary Richards. Um, don't, I can't I believe I just did that. You did that Gary last time. Rhodes. I did, I did not last time. You I, did I, I did it last week to your face. <laughs> uh, did you? <laughs> I was like, Gary... So why am I thinking Gary Rhodes? Are you a famous celebrity TV chef? In the secret life, yes. No. Okay. My my daughter is very good at cooking though. Yeah. Yeah. She's okay. doing a she's doing a catering GCSE at the moment and oh. every week she comes back with something and it is truly amazing. So maybe she could be a future Gary Rhodes. She could well be, yes. She's, she's very talented in the kitchen. I don't okay. know quite where she's got it from, but <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Gary. Thank she's you so much. Um, so, uh, lastly, like, like we said, there are some cool announcements coming up, so do check out. They are coming very, very soon. Uh, stuff that we wanted to talk about sooner than we are able to, I, but, but just do. Sorry, I don't support Millwall. I don't support any local club as such. I'll, I'll watch England. I'll support England when they're playing, but that tends to not take up too much of your time these days. Yeah. Super secret, I'm sorry. Yeah. Super secret. Thank you for joining us. And seriously, if you are new to the streams, we do these regularly, twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, we've got Road to Beta coming up on the Thursdays as well, like I said, Thursday at 7 p.m. So do subscribe so you know when we're going live or just follow the newsletters or on Twitter and Facebook and all those sorts of things to make sure you don't miss anything. Uh, like we said, it go back, you can. It will be available on demand almost immediately. Uh, so you'll be able to go back and see all the stuff that Guy was talking about and demonstrating some of the stuff that's coming to Xbox One as well. But like we said, more announcements coming very, very soon. So do keep a lookout for those, promise. Uh, and thank you guys. And thank you all for playing with CQC. Um, make sure you all give each other and share your gamer tags in the chat as well if you want to build up for when the private groups thing starts as well. 
yes. uh, which is very, very cool. So do all that sort of stuff. And I will see you on Thursday. Thank you so much, Gary. Will you come back again some other time? I would love to come back again. Thank you it's much. always a pleasure. Well, no, I've enjoyed it almost as much as... Um, <laughs> Oh, you painted yourself into a corner. Yeah, now, I know. Right. Yeah. I was, was going to stop it. Yeah. Almost as much as you have. Thanks very much. All awesome. right. See you soon, guys. All right. Goodbye. Cheers.